I'm ready. Okay, I'm so excited you're here. We're recording. Take it away, Kedra. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on our final Zoom tonight. Um, this is our final one in the fashion, Fabric and Fashion virtual group sessions. Um, tonight, we are going to talk about fashion review, modeling, and judging interviews. Um, so modeling and judging can be kind of nerve wracking when you first start out. I know when I was young, it was very nerve wracking for me. And I wish I would have had a group like this with resources to help me. Um, so does anyone want to tell me what their biggest fear is when it comes to modeling or interviewing with judges? I think it's speaking to other people, don't you think, Bailey? BB, what do you think? Tell us. Tell us. Um, I guess messing up while you're like modeling and you're like, oh no. <laughs> Anyone else? Go again. Tell us, Kaylee, what do you think? Um, people just watching you and if, yeah, just watching you and, yeah. I don't get stuck. Like, talking to the judge and saying the wrong thing instead of the right thing, I guess. Yeah, those are all definitely things that we all get very nervous about. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. And if you have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself or put it in the chat box. Okay, can everyone see this okay? Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of things that you want to think about when you're getting ready for fashion review. Um, so these are some tips that are great to remember. And my favorite one is to be confident and because it really shows when you are being confident and it's an opportunity to show your best. So have no fear and model like no one is watching. I know that you mailing girls are dancers, so you probably heard dance like no one's watching. Uh, so do the same when you're modeling and just pretend like you're in your room modeling um, just in front of your mirror because it should be fun and enjoyable and not stressful. Um, so another one is to keep your modeling natural and comfortable. Uh, the audience will be able to tell if you do feel comfortable and you should keep posture and smile big. Um, another one is modeling all sides of your outfit, which I have a video on that later. Um, don't rush your modeling and pause and pose when you get on the stage and before you get off. And my favorite one that I have heard for every year that I've been in fabric and fashion is to not wrinkle your outfit by sitting down before you go on stage or interview. Um, it, Sometimes isn't that fun to always stand, but it's important that you keep your outfit looking nice. Um, you always want to look your best when you're modeling. So keep your clothes clean and pressed. If they need pressed, um, shoes are a big one. Uh, you're gonna wanna pick shoes that you are comfortable to model in. And I know that when I was young, I did not put heels on because I knew I could not walk in them. And uh, the further I got along in my 4-H modeling career, I finally wore heels when I was maybe 17 and I'm 19 now. So uh, don't rush to wear heels at all. Wear comfortable shoes that are appropriate for your outfit and that will allow you to model naturally. Um, so if you want to wear makeup, wear makeup that's appropriate for your age and keep it natural so you look well-groomed. And then 
You're always going to want to double check your appearance before you go out on stage just to make sure everything's in place and you have everything where you want. Um, and someone is always watching. Uh, so smile all the time and just be confident in yourself. Um, so we're going to talk about modeling for a little bit. Your walk says a lot. We'll play that in a second. There's a so the first is your walk that we're going to talk about to put together. So I'm going to play this video. What about you? It can show constraint or confidence. The secret is to learn controlled relaxation. Start with good posture. If we can get past the technical errors. <laughs> then push off and keep your feet. Well, we love technology, don't we, guys? <laughs> While we wait, can we talk about what are some things? That, can we take a moment and you guys be the judge? And what do you see in that pose that we see Kadra stuck in there? What do you notice about how she looks? Can you unmute and just shout them out? What do you notice? She's smiling. She's smiling. And is it a big cheesy over? bearing smile or is it is it like this or is fake it fake smile yeah it's very natural and it's not a fake smile at all um lilia says confidence very much so and how can you tell that she's confident how can you see that is that the way she's standing she looks relaxed yeah, she looks relaxed, like she's not nervous, huh? Oh. Okay, we're gonna try just doing it off of this maybe. Have you guys, I could be dating myself here. Have you seen the movie? um the princess diaries have you seen that one and the um queen clarice is teaching what's her name oh it just left me is teaching mia. what's her name mia <laughs> mia yeah she's teaching mia how to walk and they have that great shot where um the queen walks and then Mia walks through like all slumpy and sideways. I think that's the big kicker too, is that in, in that photo of Kedra, she was standing up straight, like you guys had said. But every time I watch the fashion review, I always look for the princess Mia's before mm -hmm. to come out like all hunched over and shuffling their feet. Can you see this screen? We can. Okay, it should play now. Your walk says a lot about you. It can show constraint or confidence. The secret is to learn controlled reality. No, we see your download. Start with good posture, then push off and keep your feet. Are free. you not seeing the video? Hmm. No, just your download file. Okay, let me try again. Here we go. Now, can you see it? Yes, now we can see it. Okay, here we go. We'll try one more time. Your walk says a lot about you. It can show constraint or confidence. The secret is to learn controlled relaxation. Start with good posture, then push off and keep your feet fairly close to each other. Your arms should swing naturally with the rhythm of your walk. Think of your walk as a glide. The techniques of poise and charm are easily learned with lots of practice. Okay, so there's the first video. Let me get back to my other screen. Okay, so um, so that's the walk, and um, I really think of it as a glide. As you can see, I took whenever I take a step, I take it with the one foot and then slowly glide my other foot across to it and get into a pose stance. Um, so I like to swing my arms naturally when I walk, and then maybe put my hand on a hip or something when I pose, or hold a part of my outfit. 
Um, so next, it's important to use the entire stage. And I will show an example video. I'll have to import, get onto the other thing. So I'll stop share here. Okay, so this one is using the stage. An important part of modeling is using the entire stage and modeling your entire outfit. After going up the stairs gracefully, pause and pose to give the audience a first glimpse of your outfit. Next, you're gonna to wanna to model for every section of the audience. Show the front, back, and sides of the outfit. Keep moving, not fast, not slow, but with a natural rhythm making your way across the stage using the back, the front, and the middle. Be confident and smile. Keep your eyes looking out to the crowd and have good posture. Listen for the cue to leave the stage, but don't rush. Walk to the exit and pause. Turn, smile at the audience, then exit. Never panic and don't rush those last few steps. After you exit the stage and when you're modeling for the judges, walk confidently towards them with a big smile on your face. Okay, so that's about using the entire stage and that is a big one. So um, when you're modeling for the judges, you don't wanna do it for too long, but it's even worse to do it for a short amount of time and just like basically walk straight across the stage. Uh, so you're gonna really wanna show them every part of your outfit and um, use the front, back and center. And the big thing is pausing when you get on the stage to give the audience the first look at your outfit and then pausing right before, especially no matter if your like narrative script is over, still pause even if it's silent and give them one last look before you go off. Um, so everyone tends to find their own pattern eventually while they're modeling like me and I usually pause after climbing the steps and then move towards the front and then go from there until I make it to the other side. So um, after you figure out um, how you're going to use the stage and you're ready for the next challenge, you can work on spotlighting your fashion details. So let me get that pulled up. Okay, Dred, there's no right or wrong way to use that stage. No, absolutely not. Because you had said you tend to stop when you come up our steps and then you mm -hmm. go forward. So do you kind of make like a triangle? I'm being visual. Yeah. Because you start um, towards the front of the stage and then move to the back of the stage and then you move yeah. to the other opposite end to go down. Yeah, so it's really what you're comfortable with, but basically you want to just use the entire stage because it's there for you to use. So um, yeah, you just want to use it and show off your outfit as best you can. Is there any questions on that? And that could be a good thing to practice in the living room. Yes. I think practice making sure you have enough space in the living room to get all the corners or if um, you can sneak into where your fashion review is, that's another good idea is to practice on there. Yeah. So this one is on spotlighting fashion details. So showing off unique features of your outfit. When you have unique features on your project, you're going to want to show that off to the judges as well as when modeling to the public. Use your hands to highlight some of these features. These are some examples of how you can show off your outfit by using your hands. A good thing to do is practice these things so they become natural and casual. If they don't look natural, it is better not to use them. If you're wanting to take off your jacket to show off the rest of your outfit, do it by putting your hands behind your back and pulling the sleeves off naturally and casually 
and then swinging the jacket around and holding it in a way to show it off as well with the rest of the outfit. Okay, so that was spotlighting your fashion details. Um, so all of these videos and then some more videos will be in the Wild Learn course along with some awesome resources, which I'll talk about later. Um, but if you want to rewatch those, those are all in the Wild Learn course. Um, is there any questions about showing off unique features of your outfit? So it's really about putting your hand to what you want the audience to look at. So if you've got a hat, maybe you tip your hat, or if you want to point out the necklace or the collar. You with me? Yeah. Yeah, so people really are going to watch how your hands are moving. They're going to see if it comes up to your hat or your necklace. So that's how you'll really show the features of your outfit. Okay, so um, another part of modeling is your narrative script that is read while you are modeling. Um, not typically during your judging, but uh, when you're modeling for the public. Um, so I have a lot of examples of these and things that you can include in yours uploaded in the YLearn course. So check those out for some great ideas. Um, so this is a list of things that you could possibly include in yours. And then I'll show you an example. Um, so a catchy introduction is a great thing to have. And then uh, your name, club, special interests, future plans, there's in 4-H, other 4-H projects a brief outfit description, but not like super, super into detail. Um, describe something you learned or challenges you encountered. Um, if you made your own pattern or changes, um, then there's just things that you can add like using alliteration just so it flows better, action words. And then a good closing statement that um, you know um, is almost to the end. So you'll know when it's about your time to get off the stage so you can start to make your way to the other side and the stairs. So this, this was one of my outfits last year um, and this is my narrative script. So Kadra Clark absolutely loves to shop. Where else better to do it than the local farm girls boutique? Her goal was to find an outfit from head to toe that was classy and every piece would be versatile. The finished outfit gives off a vintage look with a fun edge. Her other 4-H projects include horses, photography, and leather craft. Kadra is headed off to Shadron State College this fall to rodeo and pursue a degree in business marketing with a minor in textiles and design. So um, when you're doing your narrative script, uh, you don't want it to be super, super short. So you're only on the stage for a short amount of time. So this is a great thing to practice also when you're practicing your modeling is have someone read it to you so you know how long that you're modeling for. Um, and then you also don't want it too long because then you'll feel like you're just dragging yourself across the stage forever. Um, so this is about the average size of one and it's about the perfect time to time frame to get you off um, on and off the stage. Is there any questions about the narrative script? Okay. I told so, Kendra this is my favorite part of the fashion review is helping kids write them. So if you yeah, ever want help writing one, I enjoy that as a hobby. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun because it can really, it's your narration to describe how awesome you and your project are. Um, so we'll move on to judging. So this is what I have always been told and it's the best interview tip and show the judges that you know your stuff because you have worked so hard on your project and you want the judges to see that. Um, you know your project better than anyone and um, they're going to see that when you answer their questions fully and with good detail. Um, so we all get nervous when we're going up to talk to the judges, but then you have to remember that you know your project and there's nothing to worry about because you know your project. And if you don't know something, you can just say, I'm not sure about that right now, but I mean, like, that's something you need to learn and uh, gain more knowledge on. So 
Um, so then, let's see. There's also, I have also put a lot of example interview questions in the while learn course, and that's a great thing to practice and go over um, when you're practicing your modeling and narrative script as well. Um, I've also put in the, the judge evaluation scorecard. So this is what the scorecard looks like, and these are smart to look at. So you know what your strong points are, or what you need to practice when you practice your modeling. Um, so they're looking at these things, the appearance of your outfit, your modeling presentation, and then how you communicate your project to the judges. So they look at things like how you walk, stand, gesture, show off your outfit, have good posture, is it natural, how you're moving. They also wanna see that you're confident and enthusiastic about your modeling. And then they'll also look at your appearance and how the outfit fits, is it appropriate, creative, things like that. And then another big thing when you're going to the judges is uh, you should introduce yourself in a confident manner, speak articulately, and that you demonstrate knowledge of your project. And I think it's important to go, oh, sorry, Kedra, go back one more. Oh, you're good. Um, where it says when in your interview component, and it's so it's asking you to talk about your project and demonstrate how involved you were. So is it appropriate to say um, that grandma made this dress for you to wear and she did all the sewing of it when you went outside to play. Is that what you should be saying? No, that's not all right, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, to the other one is that um, this demonstrates appropriate nonverbal cues. And that's a whole lot of words. And what are some examples of nonverbal? So we're talking about body language. What's an example that you're doing appropriate body language? So if the judge is asking you questions, are you standing with your hands folded in front of your chest, looking like you're bored or not interested? What about twirling your hair while they're talking to you? Right, does that show that you're interested in what they're asking? Right? What about just staring at the ground? Does that show that you're interested? Right, right. And so think about that is that, and that's what's interesting to me is when you're modeling, you're showing them that you're confident and that you're um, confident in yourself and what you're wearing and you know you look great. And then you go down and interview with the judges. And if you stand like this the whole time and stare at your shoes, you're not projecting the confidence you just had. So you want to make sure that your interview matches how you modeled. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's some great input. Okay, um, so if no one has any questions on this. So this is the while learn course. This is the module for the fashion review and modeling module. Um, so don't forget to log in and complete these activities because look at all this awesome information that is in this module alone. And we have that for a lot of other modules as well. Um, so all of the modules for this Zoom are already uploaded and then Megan will publish this recorded Zoom again. Um, and then I also want to let you guys know that um, if you complete some participation um, like discussions in the course, we will be sending you a awesome prize in the mail um, for, for doing some participation in uh, this course. So please respond to the discussions. Um, so then these ones for this one, uh, I'd love for you guys to respond to these ones. Um, if any of you guys would like help with your modeling, you can respond to the modeling help or email us and we could set up a Zoom and, or you could send videos. We'd love to help you guys out. Um, and then the course feedback, we'd love to hear what you guys thought about the Zooms and the course. Um, so please go uh, participate in some discussions. They can be past ones, any, anything. So 
to get some an awesome prize. Um, so that's all I have. And I will say this too. I mean, not to brag on myself, but I'm going to brag on myself for a minute. So Kadra has been very successful at state fair modeling. So she's really the expert on that. But then Kim Fry, who doesn't have her video turned on right now, she and I are the superintendents up at the state fair fashion review. So we know a thing or two about what the judges are looking for and what to expect. And we're really always pretty eager to help you do well up there and what to prepare for, even at your county fair too. And Phoebe, I'm going to go find it next and put it in the chat box. Yeah. Um, so does anyone have any questions? Megan, do you have any last thoughts? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. I was getting to the login thing for Phoebe. Okay. <laughs>